How's it going everyone? My name's Adam Repos Vox. Welcome back to another video. This one's a little bit different. So used to on my gaming channel, I did quite a bit of haul videos or recent games pickups videos. And I'm hoping to continue do the, to do those as I get stuff. I, I've not had anywhere near as much disposable income lately to actually continue doing those, but I do like doing the videos. And in fact, I have a PS2 haul video video, haul video video. Okay, PS2 haul video coming very shortly to follow this one. I actually recorded it at the end of June, but it takes me a long time to put them together. But I picked this up from a friend, and it's already covered in my cat hair. That's lovely. Yesterday, and I was super stoked to share it with you guys. So, I paid a very, very reasonable price for this collection here from a good friend of mine that I used to go to high school with. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. I was not expecting the level of, like, awesomeness that was packed in here. So this is an OG PlayStation 1, which I have one of, but it doesn't really work. Although he said this one may not work either. It was still worth a shot. But what's really cool, probably cooler than the console itself, is this is an original PlayStation carrying bag. It's got the original PlayStation logo. It's a little worn, but still fairly good condition and could be cleaned up a little nicely. And there's a lot of games in the original cases. This is like a super great find and I'm super stoked to check out what all is actually in here. So I'm gonna pull the games out here. I have not touched this. I picked this up from him yesterday. It was quite the drive and well worth it once I saw what I was actually getting. And we're going to check it out together here. So like I said, this is a carrying bag for the PlayStation. It's got the original PlayStation branding, something I never had for my PlayStation as a kid. What do we got in the back here? There's a back pocket. We've got power cable and composite cable. All right. Got anything else back here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's pop these latches open. Ooh, there's controllers. I forgot he said that. All right, so we have a generic gamepad here. Gamepad colors, performance. That's interesting. Doesn't even have analog sticks. It was a, it was a OG PlayStation controller and it's got semi-auto mode on here although the switch is a little loose well that would be interesting to test out and see what it actually does and i've never had a controller with a turbo button and we have a standard uh anal or dual no, it's not a dual shock but analog stick controller although the thumbsticks are a little worn off that's all right i've got controllers i've got controllers and there's a protective pouch Ooh, and we have the sony playstation <laughs> anything else in there nah all right, again, I am just super stoked about this bag. I, bags are a silly thing to be excited for, but that's one of those things that I just always wanted as a kid and never really had. So here's the PlayStation itself. Uh, this is probably the second run of the original PlayStation X. Play, just original PlayStation, not the PS1, as they rebranded later. Ooh, that is clicky. Now see, the very first thing to wear out on the probably two or three original PlayStations I had as a kid was this. This mechanism right here. For whatever reason, that always wore out with my family. And it we'd have to sit here and like smash it on there to get it to stay into place. So that's cool that that's in, that's, you know, that part's functioning. And then he said he couldn't get it to work. I don't know specifically what he couldn't get to work about it. Nothing appears to be shaking around, so. I'll go put it to the test later and worry about that. I'm not too super worried about it. AV multi out for that composite cable, AC in, and then the expansion ports that never really got any use, but pretty sick. Not bad condition either. And then we have some games with it, of course, and that was a very exciting part given that they're all in cases. I have very few PS1 games in cases. So we have Tekken 3 here. Uh, the, a lot of these are greatest hits, which are all right. I kind of like the green case. We got Tekken 3, it's got the manual, it's got the disc. <sighs> disc does not look all that scratched up for its age. And it's got a nice like blue hue to it. You probably can't see that on camera. It's got a nice little blue look to it. Very nice. It's got the Namco tip line if you need to call for some tips on how to beat up your friend on the couch. Very nice. I actually don't think I have Tekken 3 now that I think about it. I'll have to check, but I know I had Tekken 2. And I know I had the Tekken Tag games on the PS2, or the Tekken Tag game on the PS2. I don't think I had three specifically. That's actually pretty cool. So we've got Final Fantasy Tactics, a game I never actually had. Again, manual in there, very good quality. 
disc does not look scratched at all. It's a little dusty, which is fine, but no scratches at all. Wow. This dude kept his shit in good condition. I, that's very impressive. Like, this is like one of the first game consoles I would have had. Because I got some of the Nintendo ones, but we couldn't get them until later. I know my family had like an Atari and a Super Nintendo and stuff, but for me to actually have and play, this was one of the very first ones. And I never, I, I was super young. I never kept anything in good condition. All right, let's knock out. Are there any more greatest hits? Yes. Here's the big one. Final Fantasy VII with a case. Now it is a little bit of a cracked case. And he said something was wonky about the games. They do look a little scratched up but it is complete here. It's got the manual, it's got the case, it's dual-sided, it's got all three discs. Disc two is looking a lot, well, a little bit better than disc one. Disc three, probably the worst of them all. It's got some serious kinks in it. I may actually have discs for this, or like, I think I may have had like disc one or disc three, <laughs> so I may be able to swap those in, but Having that in like an actual case is still really freaking cool. I'll have to test it and see if it works. And then we've got some non, uh, non greatest hits ones. So we have here, it's just got the front cover. It's Vigilante 8, Second Offense. Don't have a manual to see what it is. I think it's like a, it's the Smuggler's Run game. I think it might be kind of like that, if I'm remembering right. Uh, one player. Quest mode consists of a series of eight levels for each character. To win each level, you must complete the mission objectives and destroy all enemy vehicles. So, yeah. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. I kind of liked Smuggler's Run as a kid. That was on the PS2. And this was published by Activision. Alright, we've got here Gundam, Ass Gundam Battle Assault 2. It's time to suit up or shut up. Welcome to a future world where gigantic mobile suits and their human pilots wage a high-tech winner-take-all war. Your fighting skills are will be put to the ultimate test as you it's a fighting game it's a 2d fighting game holy crap that's awesome i've not I've, uh, the only gundam game i actually got to play was one of the i actually made a video on it on this channel uh it's not scratched up at all again dusty but not scratched up that is ah, awesome i had it was a gun it was a dynasty warriors gundam game but it was like one of the worst ones and so actually that was the only game i ever returned to gamestop and just said i, I went back the next day i was like i don't like this give me a refund <laughs> is this what i think it is all right so this is in japanese i'm assuming actually that may be no that's japanese well, this is a dragon ball z game it doesn't have it's ntsc j for japan not super scratched up this may be Super Battle 22. I had a copy of Super Battle 22, but for whatever reason it stopped playing. Um, no, it was called Ultimate Battle 22, and that's not it. So we've got Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, but like I said, this one just stopped playing, even in emulators. It worked fine, and then it just randomly never worked again. It doesn't, it's not even scratched up. It just would not read. I don't, I don't know what happened. I was really upset. This is a 2D fighting game of Dragon Ball Z characters. Like throughout the entire Dragon Ball Z sagas. Uh, but like I said, it never worked. So I don't actually have this game or know what it is. I'll have to look it up. Because that's pretty exciting. Came out in 1997. Oh, this has some seriously pixelated graphics. This is an old one. Wow. It's a 2D fighter, but it's like sprite graphics. That's insane. I'm going to have to check that out. That is pretty freaking sick. All right. We got three more here. We've got some pretty cool stuff still. We've got Legend of Mana, which is another Square RPG. Pretty cool. I've actually heard good things about this. I think this was on one of Metal Jesus Rocks's Rocks's Metal Jesus Rocks's. I keep saying that. Ooh, it's pretty scratched up, but it's probably still playable. These discs were pretty resilient. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is do a rip to ISO of the full disc, just so I have a digital copy and do some error correction. Uh, I have a tutorial on that already up by now or coming soon um, but yeah I think Legend of Mana was on a, one of Metal Jesus Rocks's recommendation lists for the PS1 so that's pretty cool we got Strikers 1945 which looks like a classic shmup actually that's pretty cool so World War II shmup not scratched up at all very nice and this is 
Age Tech. Never heard of them. The Strikers have been called in to stop numerous terrorist threats from around the globe. Choose from six different high-tech top-secret planes to fly missions no other pilot has successfully accomplished. <laughs> oh, that's uh, That may actually be pretty cool. It's got an arcadey feel to it, which I really like in my shooters. All right, lastly, we have Twisted Metal 4. Yes. And those other cars we, of course, got in Rocket League. This is one of the original demolition derby car games if you will not many scratches at all wow these games are in pretty good condition from 989 studios of course twisted metal 4 i'm actually i may go play this later today i've got a little bit of work i need to do I'm, i've got a lot of work to do but I, I i may instead of playing overwatch at some point like i was playing it i may go play this because i have so much fun which is driving around and blowing stuff up. Like I have a lot of fun with it. But so this has been my ultimate bargain PS4 haul. Ah, I, I'm so grateful I got this. I've been posting on Facebook like to make sure that people don't throw away their old game consoles or old video games and things like that because I'm a collector. I'd like to collect them. And so on. Same thing with tech and old cameras, things like that. Usually don't get any bites, but this dude reached out to me, said, "Hey, I'm getting rid of this. Been sitting on a shelf forever. You could probably use it." I wasn't expecting a whole lot. Like usually when people just reach out, it's like, I've got a random Mario game, but he said he had a PS1 and a few games and he had a PS1 and a lot of really cool games. And I'm excited. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this on this channel, smash the like button and leave me a comment down below. I'm going to have in the YouTube card icon in the comment section in the description, wherever um, the playlist for my previous haul videos, and you can watch those as well. Uh, most of them are over on the gaming channel, but if you'd like to see more videos like this in this style, keep in mind, I have a pretty nice collection for not having a whole lot of money and being poor, and I like sharing it if you wanna hear about it. Let me know. Otherwise, subscribe for more awesome tech videos and gaming side of things videos as well. My name is Banana Marie Vox. I'm exhausted, I'm gonna go eat some breakfast.